In this video, I'll show you how to set up the Active Campaign LinkedIn integration to get more quality leads from LinkedIn and send them directly into your Active Campaign account as new contacts. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wildmail, where we help make Active Campaign even better for your based businesses. Let's dive in. So first, before I show you how to set up the Active Campaign LinkedIn integration, you're going to need Zapier to integrate the two. Uh, and Zapier is a third-party platform that allows you to uh, essentially automate workflows across thousands of apps and lets two apps talk together and pass data back and forth, in this case, Active Campaign and LinkedIn. So if you haven't set that up, you can go to zapier.com to create your integration there. That's step one. And then also, before we get into this, if you're not familiar yet with LinkedIn lead gen forms, that's what we're going to be connecting with Active Campaign. And you can see here how it works. Okay, so someone clicks sign up on a lead gen ad. It gets pre filled with their information from their LinkedIn profile. So, really reduces friction. Uh, it's a great way to generate more quality leads from your ads on LinkedIn. And you're able to generate high quality leads at scale. Uh, prove the ROI of your lead gen campaigns by tracking cost per lead, the rate for filling in the lead form. And also you can then uh, download your leads or send them to your favorite CRM tool, which is what we're going to be doing today. Sending these leads from LinkedIn lead gen forms directly into our active campaign account. So inside active campaign, we're going to go down to the bottom left to apps. And here's where you'll find all of the different apps that you may want to integrate with active campaign. We'll search in the top right for LinkedIn, and you'll see uh, the three different options here. This one, just in case you're interested in the future, you can have it automate scheduling posts, et cetera, when certain uh, events occur in Active Campaign. But for today, we're all about generating uh, high quality leads, getting those leads into Active Campaign as new contacts. So we're going to select the lead gen forms and click here to go to the documentation. That'll take us to Zapier. And you'll see here, we've got this option here, new lead gen form response, create or update a contact. So this is what we're going to be creating today. And it's available here uh, right at the top. If I click in step one, new lead gen form response, step two, create or update the contact. So when I click try it, Zapier is actually going to create this for us. And then we just have to create the connection uh, between the, the apps, set up our accounts and make sure that we're passing all of the data that we need uh, from LinkedIn to Active Campaign. So let's hit try it. Now, as I mentioned, Zapier has already created the two steps for us. In step one, the trigger, this is when someone responds to the lead gen form in one of the ads. So like this here, they hit sign up, fill in all of their information and hit submit. We can then pass that directly every time that happens into Active Campaign and create a new uh, contact or update one if we already have them in our, uh, in our CRM. So here we've already chosen the app and event. Lead gen, uh, LinkedIn lead gen forms. The event is a new lead gen form response. You can also do this with new event registration form responses, but in this case, we're just doing strictly the uh, lead gen form response and hit continue. And then it's going to ask you to connect your LinkedIn lead gen forms account. So if I hit sign in and then allow, we've got the account synced now and I can hit continue. And so now here it's going to ask you to set up your trigger, which means uh, your account and your lead form that is part of that account. You'll notice here in the description, you must be a company page admin or assigned as a lead gen form manager for the LinkedIn page. Uh, also, you must be an account manager or a campaign manager on the ads account. You can click to learn more. I'll show you quickly. Here I am in LinkedIn. And to the right, you'll see where it says work. You can create your company page here if you don't already have one. This is just a test company uh, page. And then from here, you'll also need to uh, create the ca LinkedIn campaign manager account. And then you'll be able to go to assets, lead gen forms, and create a new form fill in all of the information. So the form name, the headline, the details, privacy policy, et cetera. It'll show up here. You can see we're collecting email, first name and last name. That will be in the lead details and custom questions. All of these that you select, which can be pulled from uh, their LinkedIn account, 
and pre-filled as well if it's available. That can all be passed as custom fields uh, into Active Campaign. So data from LinkedIn directly into Active Campaign. Just keep that in mind. Typically, the more fields you add, the more friction you add. Uh, but if it's pre-filling, then you have less to worry about. It's more about whether or not the uh, LinkedIn contact is going to be okay with sharing that information. So in our example, we'll just do the um, free trial example, first name, last name, and email. Set up everything here. Set up your confirmation for when they've signed up. You can also pass hidden fields for tracking uh, similar to Active Campaign. You can check out this video here about uh, hidden fields in Active Campaign, but this can also be passed and stored on the uh, contacts account in Active Campaign. So when you're ready, click Agree and Create. And then when you go back into Zapier, Refresh Fields, I can go to Account, WM Test, Lead Form, select the form I just created. And you'll see here back in uh, the form creator, your form has been saved successfully. Send a test lead through the associated creatives preview to verify successful integration with your CRM provider, which in our case is Active Campaign. But before you test the trigger here, go back into your campaign manager for LinkedIn, and you're going to need to go to the ad that is attached to the form. So you've got a specific campaign group set up, specific campaign created within that campaign group. And then if I click into it, you'll see free trial test. I have one ad that I created and attached to this is my form here. So we'll test it this way. I'll hit sign up. It'll pull my information. I'll hit submit. It says information sent. Thanks for signing up. And then the link that'll redirect you to whatever link you set up. Uh, when you were creating the uh, lead gen form. Now, if I go back to Zapier and I hit test trigger, it says we found a form response and it's going to pull in the data from that profile, which was mine, of course. And here you can see in questions, number one, first name, number two, last name, and then email. So we'll hit continue. And now it's time to set up this second step in this app, which is the uh, the action creating or updating the contact in Active Campaign. So we've chosen Active Campaign as the app. The event is create or update a contact. We'll hit continue. We'll choose the account. If you need to uh, connect your account, just click here. And it'll ask you for your API URL and your API key. Those you can find here in your accounts. Go to settings. and developer. Uh, I'm not going to click into that. You never want to share your uh, API key with anyone, but that's where you can find them. Copy those, go back into Zapier and paste them in here and hit continue. And then your account will be connected. Ours is already connected, so I will select it here and hit continue. Now we're going to set up the action so we can add them to our main list you can check out this video here to see why we only have one main list and segmented by tags. Email address, we're going to pull from our email address field that we got from the lead gen form. We can get our first name from that as well and the last name. And remember, if you had additional questions, they could relate to this here, organization name, job title, business type, etc. All of these could be filled in with additional data that was passed when the person submitted the lead gen form on LinkedIn. You can add a tag to uh, help you identify that they came in from this lead gen form. And then go to continue. Test action. And you'll see it says a contact was sent to active campaign about two seconds ago. And then you can publish your zap. So that is the uh, LinkedIn lead gen form and active campaign integration. Very powerful for generating new leads uh, and growing your list inside active campaign. And then from there, of course, into your automations, your nurture sequences, building that authentic relationship with these new leads that you've just connected with on LinkedIn, who have just expressed interest uh, in 
your offer on LinkedIn. So any questions about that, just drop them in the comments below. We'd be happy to help you out.